Key retirements could make it more difficult for the Democratic Party to maintain their Senate majority after the 2024 election. Senator Kirsten Sinema announced she won't seek re-election in November. But that's just one of four races where the incumbent is stepping down in a state where Republicans have a legitimate chance to pick up a seat. Democrats currently have a 51 to 49 majority in the chamber. If they lose one seat, the majority will be decided by the vice president. If they lose two seats, Republicans take the majority. We can't take it for granted. We have to work hard uh, in all those states and others. But I think the Republicans would be naive to take it for granted as well. I think the voters are taking a look at these candidates, and I think we'll have quality people that will field. Uh, good candidates, good campaigns, and uh, a, a good, good pull, strong pull at the top of the ticket. But I'm optimistic. I think we'll take back the Senate. The Arizona race appears to be between Democratic Congressman Ruben Gallego and former Republican gubernatorial candidate Kerry Lake, who lost in 2022. Polls show Lake is leading Gallego by three to four points. In West Virginia, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin is retiring and Republican Governor Jim Justice is running to replace him. Polls show Justice is more than 30 points ahead of his next opponent and has a favorability rating of 73 percent. In Michigan, Democratic incumbent Debbie Stabenow is retiring. The race to replace her is pretty full. There are three Democrats and 10 Republicans running in the primary, which doesn't take place until April. The big surprise challenge is in Maryland, where registered Democrats outnumber Republicans two to one. Senator Ben Cardin is retiring, and normally a win would be a layup for Democrats. But former Republican Governor Larry Hogan, who served two terms and left office with a 77 percent approval rating, jumped in the race. Senator Chris Van Hollen told SAN he's confident the eventual Democratic nominee for the seat will prevail. I don't discount the fact that it will be a competitive race. It will be a very expensive race uh, with the former governor in. But Marylanders will understand very clearly that a vote for Larry Hogan is a vote to put um, the MAGA right-wing Republicans uh, into control uh, in the United States uh, Senate. There are two more close races for Democrats in which the incumbent is running for re-election. In Pennsylvania, Senator Bob Casey told NBC News, quote, it'll be a close, tough race. And in Montana, Senator John Tester is just two points ahead of his challenger, veteran businessman Tim Sheehy. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.